part of the inaugural cohort of the Triton Jewish Leaders that uh, David mentioned before, um, which is Hillel's new leadership incubator there, and uh, president of the UCSD Interfraternity Council, the brother of A. Pi. So, Sam. Thank you all for having me here. This is really, really awesome. So, as you mentioned, I'm a local, local born San Diego, or at least raised in San Diego. So, for me, Jewish life growing up was being dragged to Hebrew school twice a week. At 13, had my bar mitzvah, and that was pretty much it for Jewish involvement for me. It was basically I'd be there for the high holidays, maybe an occasional bar bat mitzvah. But until I got to college, that was all. So, at 18, I started at UCSD, which was far enough away to not live at home. But still close enough that my dad and rabbi can surprise me when I'm speaking. <laughs> um, and I didn't really plan on getting involved in Jewish life there either. First week we're on campus, my mom gets the full list. Here's all the halal events. You gotta go. You gotta bring back a nice Jewish girl by Thanksgiving. <laughs> I said, okay, mom, leave me alone. I'll, I'll stay here. Fine, I'll go. I'll go. Fifth day comes around. I'm out of pop ramen. Uh, and I need something to eat. And I noticed that that day is smooth with the Jews. Which not a great name, but it says there's free food. I'll show up. And there was not only free food, but the people I met there, I had no idea at that time, but it really changed my life. There's so many, so many things I've been involved with just by showing up to one of those events. And it has transformed my college experience. It's transformed pretty much everything about me as a person, and it's awesome. So I kind of wanted to share some of those organizations. As you mentioned, AEPI, the Jewish Fraternity. At first, you might think, oh, it's a fraternity that's Jewish. It can't be much of a fraternity. If it's Jewish <laughs> fraternity, it can't be that Jewish. But the EFI has amazingly been both of that. The things I've learned, not just socially, the leadership skills I've gained have been incredible. And as someone who was only, you know, kind of involved just going to Hebrew school twice a week, I never really had Jewish friends growing up, so I didn't really realize how important it is to know all these people where, even if you don't explicitly state, oh, we're all Jewish, you know that everyone has that same Jewish mother, that same Jewish extended family. Everyone's got a summer internship at their uncle's law firm. <laughs> everyone's got all that same background to draw from. And it's really an amazing thing. It's a special bond that at all times it's present, even if you're not talking about that. And that's been so powerful for me to know that we really are the same. And it kind of immersed myself in this Jewish culture that I really wasn't a part of at all before that. Um, and obviously, like, Outside of AE Pi, the things I've learned just being involved with Hillel have been amazing. Uh, I never thought that I'd really extend outside of AE Pi. I thought this is Jewish enough for me to be just going to these AE Pi events. But some of the things that Hillel's done this past year have been incredible. Uh, a couple months ago, they brought the Jewish reggae singer, or David Singer brought the Jewish uh, reggae singer Matis Yahu to campus, which was especially cool, not just, hey, lots of us are fans with Matis Yahu, but seeing the whole school in the middle of campus going to this event and knowing, hey, Halal put this on, we put this on, Jews put this on, this is really, really cool. It was really kind of a sense of, a source of pride for all of us seeing, hey, this is what we can do. This is kind of the max potential of what can be reached on a campus. And that was awesome to us. Another thing that's been mentioned a couple times tonight is the Triton Jewish Leaders Program. Um, so several of us were told, hey, we'd like you to get involved in this program, and we didn't know what it is. We said, okay, sure, we'll do it. We'll show up for the first meeting, they'll tell us what to do. Well, we walk into the first meeting and David says, I believe in all of you, you tell me what you're gonna do. Which, to me, was terrifying, but some of the things some of my classmates are doing are incredible. Um, one of my best friends started a group called Paula for Hunger. Basically, they make Hala, sell it to the students on campus, and they donate all the profits to charity, which has been an amazing, but it's one of those things that couldn't have worked if it was just students doing it. They needed Hillel's facilities, they needed Hillel's support, their advising, their guidance, and it's been incredible. Uh, another thing that's really cool is one of my friends started a, uh, a group called United, which uh, unites Jews and Muslims, which might seem like, oh, that's kind of cool, but on a campus culture where there is a lot of tension revolving around some of these issues, it really brings down that tension level a lot when the people on both sides know each other they respect each other, and it just changes the tone of the conversation, which to me has been amazing. And I know at a lot of campuses, it's not like that, which is really cool. Um, I think the biggest group that I've really been affected by this new wave of Judaism is the fact that like in a week, I'm going on the Hillel birthright trip to Israel, which if you told me a couple years ago that I'd be going out of San Diego for one thing, and then to a country where pretty much all you see in the news are all the terrible things happening there, I would have said, no way. Even a year ago, six months ago, I would have said no way, but now 
I couldn't be more excited. I know it's going to be amazing. And the cool part is, is that we're going with a group of 40, and 20 of those people I already consider some of my best friends, and I can't wait to make more. And it's, it's just amazing seeing how immersed you can get in the Jewish experience. Uh, two years ago, for me, Judaism was that one day a year you get to miss high school for Rosh Hashanah. And now I'd say my Jewish identity is probably the most important part of my day-to-day -day life and really who I am as a person, which is amazing to me. So for me, from all the students in San Diego, thank you to Hillel. Thank you to all of you for everything you've done and uh, for making my college experience and the rest of ours just an incredible thing. So thank you a lot. everything that we're trying to accomplish and you know from, from all angles and um